Are you still using these horrifyingly cringe zoom in and wondering why your edits always look bad and clearly flop 112% of the time? Well, in my case, that's great because you'll be watching longer and I'll be making more money. Today, I'm going to show you how to get these smooth zoom ins that I always use on my edits. Which, as you can see, unless I have a viral aura, this isn't all by luck. If you also want to make smooth zoom outs to go along with it, then stick till the end. To get started, make sure you have all your clips cut up, adjusted, and pre composed as I got it here with Andrew Garfield. Next, go to the effects and presets panel to search up Twixter. From there, go ahead and add it to your clip. Make sure you are now at the beginning of your clip and click the stopwatch, aka the keyframe button, for speed. And change the value to 200. Jump up approximately to the middle of your clip and change the speed value all the way down to 15. Lastly, go to the end and change the speed value back up to 200. Make the speed look more clean. We're just gonna go ahead and mess with the graph. Select your clip and click U on your keyboard. Select all the keyframes and then click the F9 button. This easy eases our keyframes, which generally just makes it look more natural. Select one of them and click on the graph icon. From here, just copy what I do with the graph. Now if you preview it, it should look smoother than earlier. Now that we have our speed channel, let's make the zooms. Go to the effects and presets panel, search up S underscore bloom occurs, and then apply it to your clip. Next, change the warp X and Y to reflect. What this does, it makes the effect have a built-in motion tile, so we won't have to worry about adding one later. Make sure you are at the start of the clip and keyframe the Z disk value. And there's no, I forgot to mention this, but change that Z disk value up to 1.3. Next, go to the end of the clip and change that value down to 0.5. If you preview it right now, you may just yell at me and say, it's nowhere different than your cringy ass scale zooms. I'm obviously gonna prove you once again with graphs. Select both keyframes we just made and click the F9 command on your keyboard to easy ease them. Next, make sure you have one of the keyframes selected and click on the graph icon. From here, copy the graph I make. You can preview it and change it around to your liking, in case you would like it to be more fast or slow. I think it's fair to say mine's is balanced. And poof, just like that, we got our zooms done with. Oh no, but you thought you were done with your edit looking in that quality? Do me a favor and click off. No, uh, <coughs> just, just, just stay. I still have something to show you. As you can see, I'm going ahead and adding my premium color correction, which you can find in the description. And you should too. Go ahead and check out my video on a free color correction I made on the card above. And if you want something better, check out my personal presets in the description. And also in the description, I have linked my TikTok account where all my edits live. And my Discord server, which you have to join if you're an editor, since we got all the essential editing tools that took me months to find. Totally like and subscribe if this helped. And watch this video on screen for zoom outs, so your family no longer thinks you're disappointed.